Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 40. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons please. Thank you. Well, as you can see, I have purchased a new baler. I had a comment questioning me about this baler and at the time I couldn't afford it but it's not normally my baler of choice but I do kinda like it it's growing on me you don't have to go back and wrap your silage bales later it doesn't take two steps it's just one. You do have to watch how full it's getting and when it hits a hundred percent you have to stop and I usually have to back up because I don't stop quick enough and once the tray is empty and the door closes then you can go forward again. Sorry that was a little tutorial. Um, anyway I've got a new baler because I had some grass I had to pick up and I didn't have to back up that far but I don't think I can talk and do this at the same time I can't not talk and do this There we go, with a little grass left over for our next baling adventure. I guess I could turn that off. Pick it up. Close it up. Is there a close on this? I don't think there is. Um, I'm going to have to arrange here. Let's put this one right in that bay. I think we might have had something else in there, but maybe it was the other baler. I don't know. That looks pretty good. Alright. So, since the last episode, I have... Oh! I went and gave the apples one scoop of manure each because it was almost they were almost out and I didn't want them to run out um, I sold the straw pile that we had here and I bought the baler to sell the straw pile I don't know what order I did it in um, and I turned in the loading wagon that I kept forgetting to do let's see I topped up the pigs but it looks like they're already using up some of the straw um, oh over here on the new field which I am loving Oh, and there's our new trailer for bales. I figured since we've got the 
semi-tractor we can use a bigger trailer I really did like that little trailer but this one will work great too I'll have to give a try to see if I can get the bales to stack on it but what I did do is down here on this end of the field I planted grass I was thinking about it and I decided yeah I need to have grass down here so that oh and that's kind of funny the system is remembering what it used to have for ground cover where I planted the grass it's not gonna come up that way but uh, but anyway I wanted a I wanted an end down here where our farm vehicles could turn around so so I planted grass there. Oh, what I did forget to do, and you can see I put manure in the in the bunkers there, so they're good for a little bit longer. I need two, and this is two two passes of the planter. One one direction, one the other direction. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's coming through the microphone or not, but I think that airplane or jet just missed my house. Oh boy, that was loud. I live, I'm still going. I live uh, about three miles from an airport and we are not in the flight path. So to hear that is not normal. I don't know what's going on. Um, I might go outside and have a look. I will be right back. It was pretty far away when I, uh got outside but I do believe that was Air Force One coming in for a landing I'm not sure coming in for a landing or taking off but he was flying level and low anyway okay uh, what were we doing oh we need we need a dirt barrier between our crops and this grass area and I think I want it to be grass of course is that gonna be wide enough what do we have over here on this end because this one seems to work fine it's about the size we have there I will make it this size because we can always make it bigger all right, just like that. Oh, get back over there. Now, it's too bad that on this map, grass does not grow. Which may be I shouldn't have done this in the grass texture. Maybe I should have done it in a dirt texture. But it's this way now. There we go. So it'll never have grass growing on it, but it'll look like it. Okay, so hopefully when we go to plant and have our workers do work, that'll be enough of a barrier to stop them. And then we'll have another little patch of grass here that we can mow and bale. So, where am I at? What do I need to do? I need to get the farmer, the worker, started planting. Now, I asked a question last episode. 
of what to plant and it was unanimous out of all of the answers that I got back uh, everyone said ha, ha, ha plant corn in this spot because my pigs need corn and let's check that pigs are low on corn so that would be one one that we need to plant and the other was wheat to plant wheat up here in this field dead ahead and wheat will also give us straw which we're gonna need again for the pigs so let us and I always turn off plant growth when I plant because and I didn't do that on the grass because on a big field you could have it already up and not ready at the same time so I was thinking about doing the small field first but I think I want to see it oh actually we need to do the small field first because I need to get bales out of the way so we will come over here um, now I have did I fertilize those fields I wasn't gonna and I bet I did yeah I did well so we still can't alright so we still can't run fertilizer in the planter I'll have to wait until next see next seeding uh, we have seeds in here we need to change that to wheat there we go and we will do wheat here it's a cute little planter I like this and I could move it over just a little bit that'll work and I'm gonna let the farmer or farmer I keep saying farmer I'm gonna let the worker do it because he will be straighter oh it kicked out a little bit but it looks like we're getting clear over to the edge so that's good I guess I wasn't very close to my microphone talking in a cave wasn't I we will get this wheat planted quickly and then we will move off to plant corn in the big field and I'm not gonna oh it did plant that little spot I was gonna say I'm not gonna worry about that and I'm gonna help the worker plant this because he always wants to back up and him haw and I think I can turn around and get him started faster than he can plant I really liked using that semi with the culti plow. That worked real well. Now that I've got a larger semi truck, that old 60s semi truck was good for hauling the pigs to start us out, but it wasn't wasn't enough to do that kind of a job. But we're set up now.
I think I might need to do some repairs here. We're only going six miles an hour. Oh, now we're instantly eight. What's going on? The advantage of planting wheat over barley is you get a little bit more wheat per seed. In other words, when we harvest this, we will have more liters of wheat than we would have had with liters of uh, barley. So that was a good choice. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to do a little bit of repair. Whoa! I think we need more tires on the ground. I was thinking about letting my semi-truck do this, but... He's going to be busy here in a second. All right. Um, well, that's right. I was supposed to be picking up bales. I didn't do that. Let's see. Let's repair it. And then let's customize it, and let's put the twins back on here. Configuration is always changing, so we need to put the front attacher back. I want the trailer board with... Twins, there we go. And design type 4, because that is the oldie. And do we still have... No, it took my engine away, too. 261, there we go. All right. Now we have the monster back. And we'll hook it up. I didn't like that little kick that it did. And we'll stop there, and we should have that in the trigger. And it didn't need much repair, but we repaired it anyway. All right. Now, we are going to plant corn. There we go. Always best to do that right away, otherwise you forget and plant something you didn't want to plant. Now hopefully with this many tires on the ground, the planter won't try to kick us and whip us around. What is the requirement for this planter? I thought it was okay. Uh, let's just go to the garage. That's quicker than me trying to look for it. Oops, we gotta go this way. There it is. 250. So, yeah, we should be able to do it. It's on the top end of it, but out of the way, Bale. Oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, we'll have to go this way. And I didn't want to go that far. I like to be as close as I can without wasting too much. All right, let's see if a worker can do that. Yes, he can. All right, let's jump out. Get out of the way so he doesn't stop and miss. Oh, you know what? I should have stayed in there in case he 
I gotta watch and see what he does with the grass. I don't want him to drive by my grass edge. I don't want him to go past my barrier into my newly planted grass. That's what I wanted to say. It just looks weird from this distance to not see the planted grass. And he's going to turn around. All right, good. All right, let's come down here and get these bales out of the way. Come on, little legs, go fast. Oh, it's going to be in the way. Not gonna get there in time. And he's there. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit it. Oh. Well, alright. We don't need to worry about that one now. Let's move this one. And this one. He's going to be done planting that field before I get done loading this trailer. Oh, I'm not going to be able to load this trailer. Like everything else, it just takes practice, I guess. Me of little faith. Just about pulled it off. What if... What if I park it on a hill? No. That's what I was hoping it would do. Roll to the back. And then maybe I can just tap them to square them up. He's doing a good job on the corn, I think. We'll look at it when he's done. He's not taking very long. I think the straighter I can get it on these forks will help me more. Whoops, I need to go on the other side. I think doing these right, left, right, left, right, left will also help. Now I need to push this one back just a little bit. It went too far. Cross the center line, into, so to speak. Just a little nudge. We'll call that good. Oh, you dirty rat. All right. Put this into pusher mode. Down. 
Stop while I'm ahead. Alright, I'll stop talking and put this into a time lapse so it doesn't take all day. I think he just finished. Oh, 9% of corn left. Um, before I put that away, we better run down and make sure he did a good job on the other end. I'm pretty sure he did over here because we kind of watched him. Yeah, that end looks good. We'll have to make sure he got everything down here. That didn't take long at all. Whoa! So that's not good. So there's something in the ground over here somewhere. And why didn't it go here? Because there's a little bit of a dip. All right, well. We will remember that and fix that later. I'm not going to tear up this field. I am going to come over here and grab the treks and see if we can't find I guess for the first pass we should have rode along and made sure he didn't have any problems. Darn it. Looking for wood particles. Did not see any. There it is.
I guess I'm not quite sure why I didn't go this way. This would have been quicker, wouldn't it? Probably was just that one tree stump. One more pass, running close this way. All right, we're calling that good. It was just the one stump, I hope. And it's kind of uh, amazing. Why didn't the plow, culty plow, have a problem in there? Because I did it. That's why. That's right, we were plowing new field. Making new field, I mean. This is going to be a lot of corn. We may have to buy a silo when this comes up. back to plow or to plant that one little spot. Still on corn. Whoa. Do not try to turn at top speed. important safety tip all right so that edge is going to catch that yeah plenty good all right we will tell him to do it There we go. And don't be turning while it's folding up either. I learned that the hard way. Well, we need more fields. That was too, that was too easy. We may have to look into buying that ground right there. That wouldn't take very long to develop. The trees are awfully far apart. I do need to t take down some trees at the end of this field. Let's park this. I don't want to park it there because that's where I've been parking the semi trailer cuz i don't know where I'm, i need to put i need more storage all right i think i had this jack knifed into the trees right here that looks good all right I am going to finish the bales. Oh, before we do that, what's this cost? Oh, that's a huge property. I probably have to buy all of this. Yep. $178,000. How much was ours? 42, yeah. 178. Well, 197 that isn't flat at all and I haven't been over here to look at this and you buy both sides of the road over here I could put in the road over here at the farms I wonder if you could do anything with the marsh leveling that out 76,000 
Oh well. Um, 178 if I want to do the one across the road. I guess that wouldn't be too many trees. Let me do these bales and think about it and I'll get back with you. Really? There we go. Not too bad if I say so myself. One load of bales. Ah, uh, silage. 180. What is a good number for silage? 213 is a good number for silage. Oh my goodness. Oh, close enough. Let's go take it. Close enough. If I had horses... Horses. If I had cows, then we'd save them, feed them. I want to drive my new truck. My new tractor trailer combo thingamajig. I don't want to roll it. And that was pretty close. Oh! Hang on there. I buy this, I can put a road in right here where it needs to be. Do those need to be unstrapped? No, they do not. 12,000, that's all. I don't like hard mode. Oh well. Yes, I do like hard. Nothing's handed to you. You gotta earn it. Except the tree price is still a little high, I think. Now, where am I going to park this? Um, well, 
for now, I think I'm going to park it over here. Like that. And I used to have the other bale parked right here. But what I think I'm going to do is move the trailer over there. That way, when I come to feed pigs... Ooh, don't hit the building. When I come to feed pigs... I don't have to worry about driving around this thing. And it looks to me like it was made to go right there. So was the tree. And we might just leave it hooked up. Or not. Okay. I need to move that. Where is my little guy? There we go. And he's still got my pallet forks on. Ha 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 ha. Oh. I forgot. Turn back on plant growth. There we go. And I need to see if I can fit the rest of the sugar beets in with the pigs. That didn't work. There we go. Oh, that didn't work either. There we go. It's like bird poop all over the roof. Pallet number three on the baby trailer. That's tight enough. Hey, that's not what I wanted to do. How come I can't get straps? All right. What's the dealio? I forgot how to strap. Oh, it has to be unhooked first. That's why it wasn't working for me. I, I hate it when that happens. It automatically turned my microphone off. Or stopped the recording. There we go. Now it's ready for the next one. Alright, well, if, if it's kicking me out, that means I've got a long enough of a recording that it's going to take me forever to edit. Come on. There we go. So we best call that an episode. I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. 
If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.